Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Monday, October 18th. Today the Universal Church honors the evangelist St. Luke. He appears in the Acts of the Apostles during Paul's second journey, and he remains at Philippi for several years until St. Paul returns from his third journey. Then he accompanies St. Paul to Jerusalem and remains near him when he is in prison in Caesarea. During these two years of St. Paul's imprisonment in Caesarea, St. Luke has time to seek information and interview persons who had known Jesus, and this knowledge deeply affected his life. Eventually, he is asked by St. Paul to accompany him on this dangerous journey to Rome, where he was St. Paul's faithful companion until his death. And what St. Luke's known for the most is his gospel. Because through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, he composed the Holy Gospel according to Luke, and then the continuation of this Gospel, the Acts of the Apostles. So therefore, these two books of sacred scripture are one of the greatest contributions ever given to the Church, because of the knowledge that comes from these divinely inspired sources. The Gospel passage chosen by the Church today in honor of St. Luke comes to us from the 10th chapter of his Gospel. It reads, The Lord appointed 72 disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. And to whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. St. Luke, while traveling and living, living with St. Paul, truly lived out the words of this gospel passage. He was a laborer for the kingdom of God, who had to trust that the Lord of the harvest would provide for him and his companions as they sought to spread the good news of the gospel. And as I mentioned, St. Luke's most important work, the composition of sacred scripture by the power of the Holy Spirit, was also a continuation of these words that Christ gave to the disciples. Because the final words in today's gospel has Jesus telling them that they were to tell everyone that the kingdom of God is at hand for them. And truly, when you read St. Luke's gospel in the Acts of the Apostles, we can see how St. Luke shows us how the kingdom of God is at present, is present and continues to be present in our lives. So these experiences that St. Luke had as an evangelist, he wrote down and truly inspired by the Holy Spirit, helped us to have a deeper understanding of how Christ was calling all of us to not only share the good news of the gospel, but also to remind people that the kingdom of God is at hand. So in our own lives, we meditate upon the experience of St. Luke and the first disciples of Jesus Christ. And hopefully those experiences inspire us and challenge us because we are being called to continue to share the good news of Jesus Christ with others and also to point out that the kingdom of God is at hand. And yes, at times it is difficult to share the good news of Jesus Christ. And sometimes it's difficult to see how the kingdom of God is at work in this world that we live in. But brothers and sisters, we don't lose hope. And furthermore, we know that St. Luke and others experience difficulties as well. But God is always faithful. The Holy Spirit is here to inspire us. But most importantly, we have sacred scripture to guide, inspire, and to truly help us. Again, to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ 
to tell people that the kingdom of God is at hand and to make sure that we witness to Jesus Christ in this world. So we have an important job ahead of us that was started by St. Luke. And again, we are called to continue that important mission of sharing the gospel each and every day. St. Luke and Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.